Why would you put it mirrored on one side? You have one job. This is just chef's kiss. This is amazing. Why do they make the women with such big heads? Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be going over the latest story called Hellas Compass. I'm quite excited to play this one because I feel like it's going to be very futuristic. As always, I've been avoiding spoilers, but I did see a picture with futuristic outfits in it. Just like kind of like the society outfit, which I really love. I can't wait to get into it. But first, I have a few global announcements. I want to thank everyone who's been commenting and liking and subscribing. We're almost at 300 subscribers, which is, it means a lot to me. So thank you so much for all the support and the messages that I get it really means a lot to me also there has been a competition going on for video creators the past four weeks they haven't really promoted it when they launched because they got a lot of backlash but since I already did time princess videos I did enter the contest because might as well just win something but I ended up winning first prize so I got 30,000 diamonds which ended up getting me the whole cow outfit and enough left over to maybe do some events in the future and also fe feature it in videos they started up a new competition which is in weeks so i'm participating this week because i'm uploading today for the new video i don't know if i'm going to be uploading twice a week from now on i'll have to see which kind of content i feel like making or <laughs> what works with my schedule everyone again thank you for liking and subscribing and let's get into the video as always we're gonna start off with taking a look at the outfits in this story there are only seven so i have to check how many chapters this story has this is the first one called navy navigator and I think the hair is really cute. The hair is pretty, but oh. The hair is pretty, but it's kind of boring. Not gonna lie. I don't like this suit. I don't see myself using this. Uh, it's a no for me. Next up, we have Snowy Knight, and I hate this. I don't like it. It, it has the touch of the futuristic in the suitcase, but it's missing the cohesion, right? If I had to guess, I don't know if anyone of you play Overwatch. This is like the May version of Time Princess. Time Princess version of May, I mean. I don't like the execution of this. I don't think this is a win. I like the earrings though, but this just matches more with the dress than this does. Too, it's too glittery. They could have committed to the futuristic more, I think. But the hair, I like the hair. I like it when he has the swooshies. That's why I got the swooshies in the front. <laughs> I think it's the hair only for me okay almost halfway but here we have sad dreams so i do actually like this outfit this is not too sparkly they don't add anything this is really the futuristic look also i love these shorts look at the shorts it's very short <laughs> yes i like the shorts oh i just noticed why do i have to do this look at the time princess they even mirrored it why do they why would you put it mirrored on one side you have one job that's kind of wrong that feel rushed this is not this breaks kind of the immersion of it being a separate story i get for some login outfits they have the igg on it like the birthday event or the one with the bikini but this isn't story on itself so i'm very curious to see if they're really going to be working for time princess right i do like the outfit i approve i think the boots and everything fits nice i don't like the hat especially not that it says dress up like what is that and i don't like the hair as much but i do like that it's asymmetric so it's kind of unique in a way yes okay so far i think this is my favorite then we have surge of emotions which i <laughs> I think Kitty's Adventures was such a big hit with the outfit that I'm kind of underwhelmed with this because I don't like these colors. I do feel like it's just a C inspired since it was the first outfit, but I don't think these colors work well. I think if it was a different color, I do really love, look at the sparkles at the bottom if you move. I love that they've been adding that more. This looks great, but I think the colors are kind of a miss. Let's take a close up. Yes, it's definitely C inspired with the shells, so deep ocean which is nice i like ocean stuff the crown is beautiful i just don't like the colors that they chose for the dress it's a little bit too neon for me maybe but i love the sparkles look at the sparkles very pretty next up we have tidal fantasy and this is just this is just chef's kiss this is amazing look at the hair so much volume first of all she's wearing headphones screws no just one headphone very cute like i said this is very much like the society outfit i love the skates and the little fishy companion this is more the hit that the first one kind of missed yes definitely this one is my favorite i think and shorts look they didn't just give us like a top but they also gave us shorts next up is whale's fantasy this is so ugly i'm sorry what the hair 
I love. It even has a green streak on the side. This hair is so cute. They got 100% on the hair, but this umbrella thing, it's too much going on, right? So in the bottom, you have holographic reflective paper, which is animated beautifully. I must give them that. And it does give kind of like the mermaid tail. So maybe that's why it comes from, if I had to take my guess. But this is too much. There's blue, there's red, there's purple, there's green. They could have gone with two colors or maybe, yeah, maybe even three. Or maybe it's because of it's in the down here. That's why. But then they should have skipped on the purple, I think. No, I don't like this. I'm sorry. And their last outfit is Witch Dreams, which I love this. This is so cute. This is the cute part of it. And the dolly style with the with the tights that look like their robot knees. And then also the futuristic style with the gun. Because we don't have enough guns in time for this. Come on, let's be honest. I love this dress. I really hope that I get stuff from this outfit when we're gonna go pull for tickets. Because this is really cute. I love this dress. I'm not as fit bag of a fan of the hair but this is amazing. So if I had to pick my favorite outfit out of all of these seven, I think it would definitely be this one be just because of the dress and I think the sleeves are really cool. Or again, this one just for the hair but and the shorts, definitely. I'm just thinking about compatibility. So let's go take a look at what we can buy in the store. So in the store, you can buy these six outfits, which is mostly from the first one, I think. So I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase these. And we have six blueprints for purchase. Thanks to you guys, I can all buy these. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have this too, but I'm getting to the point that I have too many companions and my app just crashes when I go to companions. We have two companions for the story. The first one is Tammy. I think her head is too big for her body. Way too big. And it looks wrong. But I like her outfit. I wish we had something like this in the game. It's very Genji-esque. I don't know. Maybe I'm in an Overwatch mood. And then we have Neil. Look at the head comparison. Come on. This and this. I don't know why they do this. Why do they make the women with such big heads? He looks kind of cool. He looks like a scientist. I like his outfit. So I'm just gonna level them up quickly and then we can take a look at their relics. So to level them up for Neil, it was quite fast. But Temi took uh, a little bit more to upgrade, which is weird to see in only two characters. But let's claim everything and let's see. This is not... Okay, the first the first relic is Blade of Redemption. I like the way this looks. Maybe it's the angle that doesn't make her head look so big. She does look cool. I like her white hair or gray hair with the red and the black. And this is Neil. Ocean Essence. And we got a few blueprints, mostly for the first two outfits, I think. Part of winning first place in the competition also gave me 300 or 400 tickets. So I spent it last time, but here we are having them. I am not comp competing in the big event for the dragon outfit so i've just saved them up for this event so i think i'm just gonna throw in 100 tickets with the new system i can get everything in in one go so that's pretty convenient so let's hope we can get the dress with the white hair so first up we have some earrings i think but they look more than like headphones okay we got the white hair from the pretty outfit which is good we got the bonnet that's cute i like that Oh, oh, yeah, we got the shorts. <laughs> it's silly that I'm so excited for such a simple thing, but it's so easy compatible with other items. I'm very excited. We got a necklace. I really hope for a top or a dress or a hair pee or just hair. Oh, we got the ugly umbrella. We got our first double already. <gasps> yes, we got the hair. Luck is on our side today. Okay, I'm happy. And we got an umbrella again and another relic. So that's three dupes in 10, ten pools. Ooh, and we got the sleeves. Okay. That wasn't bad, but I think three dupes is quite a lot, honestly. Okay, so time for me to get into the story. I'm going to be reading a few chapters like always, and I'll just be back in a second for you. And I'll give you my final verdict on at least the first few levels and if I think you should read it. I just finished reading the first few levels and so far it is okay. It is very slow, but at the same time, very short levels. I, I sped through it like quite fast. The story is different from what we've seen. We are Kelly, a navigator on on a big ship after we received a letter. We were tired as a navigator because our dad was an experienced navigator and he disappeared and died while working. And we got a letter saying you have to take this job because your dad, dad's death was not an, your dad's death 
was not an accident. So you gotta go on this one and find out what really happened. We go on this cruise, we meet two companions we've taken a look at, and we find the iceberg, and we find a box inside with a mysterious item that is correlated to the Viking Ages. That's what the whole story is about. This story is only one chapter. So I'm curious to see how many levels it has. So far, I'm already, I think, 14% done with this story. I'm just gonna take a look at what I can craft. I don't have that much stamina, but we'll, we can see uh, how many things are craftable. So right off the bat, I already have a few things that I can make. Also, the dress. Okay, as you can see, I'm already out of stamina, but so far I think these are pretty beginner friendly on how much it takes. And since there's only one chapter, I think it's pretty easy to be finishing it. So on that note, I think I do recommend it for beginners. I don't know what the rest of the story is going to be like if they're going to have more required crafting, but it was also quite easy to level up the companions. So I just put together a quick outfit. I really like the stuff that's in here. It's combined with other things that I already have. I like that the story is something new that we haven't seen before, but at the same time, we had the same thing in Gourmet's journey that our dad died and we want to find out why. So we're going to follow in his footsteps. I don't know. I don't like that. It's either an orphan or dead parent mystery. I don't think it's my thing, but the outfit so far is good. I wouldn't say it's a 10 yet on the story or the outfit. It's a bit, I think I would rate it around a six so far, but I give him thumbs up for trying something new in the storyline. Again, everyone, thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next video let me know if you're going to play the story and what you think see you in the next one ciao